All right, so I'm back, and today um, we're gonna announce. Most of you guys already know it, but I'm officially announcing the new uh, raffle that we're doing. Um, so first off, I created a Facebook page. Um, it's called John Garinger Transformer Raffles and Reviews. I'll put the link below. Um, and I wanted to read over our the the rules one more time. And then from now on, it's just going to be in the link. Um, okay, so the figure that we're going to be doing is the Toy World's Grim Shell, which is um, they're not Grimlock. And um, you know, a lot of people are saying don't do combiners. Um, I'm going to have to disagree, and we're going to just go ahead and do combiners. But no, with the knowledge of when I get them and review them, I'm only reviewing the figure and its alt mode. I'm not reviewing the combined mode uh, unless I am able to get the entire combiner in one go so so yeah we're gonna be doing him um, so the figure price is $140 um, our goal to raise is $170 why the extra cost is because of shipping um, that will cover the shipping to me and to you um, inside the US we'll get into shipping in a little bit but that way I break completely even with only some PayPal fees um, so the rules. Uh, you must buy a raffle ticket. They're $5 each. Um, you can enter as many times as you wish. You can only win once. And you can't win the second prize. Uh, rule number two. Uh, if you wish to buy one more, let me know. Or if you wish to buy one, let me know and I will send you a PayPal invoice. Um, as of now, PayPal and cash is the only way. But all payments must be received before the raffle can take place. So... Um, I, I gotta have either the cash in hand or the PayPal in hand um, before because I have to have the money to buy the figure. I can't just buy the figure because um, I. That's why we're doing the raffle because um, I have other things I want to spend my money on. Um, three, you are allowed to enter as many times as you like, but you can only win once per raffle. So, in other words, if we did get enough money to buy, say, two Grim Shells, um, you know, even if you bought four tickets, you can only win one Grim Shell. Um, then someone else gets to win the second one. Um, that's that's the only way it's going to be fair. Um, otherwise, you know, somebody might end up by winning like two or three of the same figure, and that's that's not cool. Because then they could just sell it and make a bunch of money off of it. Um, you know, and that's that's cool for them, but not for everybody else that's a, a part of this. Um, four. Uh, if we raise enough money to buy more than one figures, we will raffle off more than one. Uh, so the more that enter, the more we have to give away. Uh, again, you know, if we raise twice as much money for Grimshell or close to it, then I'll buy two figures and then we'll give... I'll give one, um, two away, one which will be reviewed, one which will still be in package, mint, and I'm not going to let you guys know which one's which, um, because that, otherwise, you know, because uh, that's just more fair that way. Um, the reason for the extra in the goal is for shipping, um, to you in the U.S. International shipping will have to, they will have to pay more for the international shipping, um, but at the end of the day, I still think you're coming out way ahead because, um, say you buy two tickets, so that's $10, and let's say shipping from me to you is $25. Well, the initial purchasing of the figure covers $15 for shipping, so, so you'll have to cover the balance, which would be another 10 bucks. So therefore, you just got a $130 figure for, or how much, $140 figure for 20 bucks. You're still coming out way ahead. Um, so, so there, that's the international shipping. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, you know, it's like that, that'll cover all the shipping costs. So the only thing that I have to cover is PayPal fees, which I'm fine with, you know, that's just a buck here and there. Uh, number six, the figure uh, will first come to me for review, then will be shipped to the winner. So please note it will be opened. If there are any issues with the figure during the, the, the review, I will contact the store, usually either TF Source or Big Bad Toy Store, and I will um, let them know that there's an issue and um, get the replacement parts or replacement figure or what, what have you um, before I send it to you because um, I don't want you to get a damaged figure. 
Um, if it, if it breaks when you get it, um, you know, I, I can, you know, email me, let me know, and then I will email the company and see what we can do about getting it refunded. My brother's dogs are here, and you can hear them in the background. <sighs> I'm tired of babysitting the dogs. Uh, my dog doesn't bark. <laughs> he rarely ever barks. And if, and if he does, there's something going on that I need to be aware of. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, number seven is I cannot buy the figure until we raise enough money for the figure. So the faster we get the money, the faster we can pick a winner. Um, so spread the word. You know, just get the word out there that we're doing this. Um, again, you know, the faster we get the money, the faster we can buy it. The Perceptor went pretty fit, fast. It was like under a week. And we had enough money to get the Perceptor. Um, yeah, and that's how I'm hoping it will work. It's about a week. Um, and then, um, yeah, again, if anybody, um, you know, if, if we raise up enough money to buy more than one figure, then yes, we will definitely send out more than one figure. So that's pretty cool. Um, number eight, second place, we'll get to pick the next figure. Rules on that, the figure must be in between the $80 to $160 range. I think that's the best range for us to be in right now. Um, if it becomes super popular, then we'll, we'll boost the range uh, of prices um, into the hundreds and you know maybe full combiners, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And the big rule number nine, this is the big rule, the, the, the catch-all to end all. Um, the first time somebody puts a dispute up on PayPal to, um, because they didn't win and they're just bitter about it, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop doing it. I'm, I'm not in this to make money. Um, I'm, I'm in this just because I think this is a fun idea and, you know, it's a fun thing for you guys because you're winning hundreds, you know, a hundred dollar plus figure for, you know, however much you buy the raffles for as little as five bucks. Um, so if I lose money on this, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this as a charity, and I'm not going to take a hit. Um, so the first person to dispute the charges, because I can't win the disputed charges. There's no way. I can't sit there and be like, oh, well, you know, he, he purchased this. No, it, it doesn't work that way. Um, so you guarantee you will win that PayPal dispute, but then we will discontinue doing this, and you will not get an opportunity to win the figure again in the future um so don't ruin it for everybody um so yeah uh there's the rules um my fa the facebook page you know here it is right here um it's got um, a picture of the grim shell um every time we do a new figure i will um undo that uh or, or put a new picture up there in the background for the next raffle figure so that we you know, you guys can see. I've already got three people liking this, and it won't tell me who one of them is, but, um, and we've already got two entries, um, from people that I know, so we're already up to $30? Yeah, $30. So, um, so we're already there. Or, you know, we're already started. So, let's get this, let's, let's get this ball rolling. Um, you know, again, yeah, I think it's fun. And, you know, if it becomes successful, I would like to do it uh, at least twice a month. If it becomes super successful, you know, maybe we'll do it uh, once a week. Um, but, yeah, I think our goal right now is um, two times a month. You know, because, you know, it would take a week to, to, to get the funds, then order the figure, send it to me, and then a week, um, you know, for it to ship to me do the review, do the raffle winner, and then send it out to you. So I'm hoping every two weeks we can do this. Um, two to three weeks, depending on, on on when I get to order the figure, because if I don't get to order it until like Saturday or Sunday, then I have to wait for the order to process, then to ship to me, and then blah, 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 blah. And there still has to be time for me to figure out the transformation too. Um, so keep that in mind. Like, uh, I know I talked about doing the Make Toys Chrome Dome. Uh, I'm still interested in it, but I know it's a super fiddly figure, so that might take me a day or two to memorize the transformation. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, new raffle, the uh, Toy World's Grim Shell. 
and uh, I think that's it. I think that's I think that's it for this one. So yeah, I'm posting this tonight, and again the the link will be in the description below. And I'm gonna try to remember. I'm not very tech savvy, um, especially with my memory when it comes to tech stuff. So I'm gonna try and link it in all my videos from now on, but we'll see how that works out. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, spread the word. The more people enter, the faster we get the figure, the faster we can get the, uh, uh, and the bigger possibility of us getting more than one of the figures for you guys to win. Um, right now we're just planning on the one, but if I, if I make, if I get like $300 in the next week, I'm buying two Grim Shells. So, so yeah. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to keep with the, um, drawing names out of the hat uh thing because that's just kind of fun uh i know there's a randomizer out there everyone keeps telling me to use a randomizer but i think the drawing the names on the hat you know right here live you know that'd be kind of fun that's a little bit more fun to, to me anyway um because then i can draw the next name for the second prize winner um there's something else i'm just thinking of um why I should always have notes. Memory is like this big. <laughs> I just got off of work, so I'm like, mm. um. Yeah, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Uh. Oh, it was something important. It's the tip of my tongue. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh. I don't know if it comes to me. I'll, I'll let... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um. So on the Facebook page, um, there's you know you can message me through the Facebook page. So just message me, um, your email address linked with your PayPal. Um, and then I can send you an invoice that way. Um, that way not everyone's, because that was probably the biggest problem with the last one, uh, or the trial run was, you know, everyone was emailing me on my Gmail account and, and then I had, you know, mixed with everybody else that's emailed me in the past. So I had like about a hundred emails I was trying to go through and trying to figure out who entered the raffle and who didn't because the PayPal account doesn't always show me the most details. So, so yeah email through uh the facebook messenger system um uh you should be able to message the page um and then and i can check that you know quite often and go from there all right cool Done.